what's up guys and this is here and welcome back a project over you so recently i did a work this is my personal work so this is a, a astronaut right if you are following me on instagram recently you are seeing that i posting a lots of loops video right let me show you one by one so you can see that and if you are not following me you can just go there and i will also put the link in my de video description so you can follow me on instagram so you will get the idea of what i am doing uh, uh, i think it makes sense but let's see first so let's come over to this project so recently i made this personal astro project right where i use a astronaut and i just put in a scene and i just compose it with some technique and here is the final result right so let's let me show you step by step inside after effect and element 3d so i opened a element 3d this is a astronaut i downloaded it from uh, a website i will put the link so you can also go there and check it and download it if you want right so this is the astronaut right so i just imported it right and here is a uh, one more object called uh, you can say a uh, ground or just you can also say it mountain so i made this mountain right i will also put a link to download it so you can follow along with this overview now i just put this reflection mode to default so uh, i will show you what i did right so i just put this uh, astronaut in our scene right you can see here right and i just set a camera angle so uh, what actually i want in my final result right so something like this and then i created a plane right this plane is basically let me show you here this plane is basically uh, visible to camera right so this plane is just uh, is not visible to camera this is only for the reflection for this a uh, helmet right because in our final scene there is a saber portal right that's why i created a fake reflection so i just shut this off here and for reflecting our ground i just changed the reflection mode of ground is to the mirror surface right you can see now it's reflecting and one more object is here you can see if i shut it off and let me show you let me visible to camera on right you can see this is reflecting here so this is the basic setup for uh, element 3d and i also use a custom environment of this star galaxy star environment right so uh, everything is reacting like that right so let me shut off so this is the setup inside element 3d let's go outside of element 3d and let's see other steps hit okay and come over here so basically you need you think you, you you can see here i just imported the background if you see right here i just desaturated a little bit and uh, apply a course effect right then i go to the element 3d and here is a option called render setting basically i changed a lot of things but let me show you a few of these exposure i put one and i play with the gamma right you can also darker it and play with according to your scene right and uh, i also uh, created some lights let me show you this is the point light intensity 100 percent and this is just for portal let me show you step by step so i just can enable shadow and this shadow is casting from the one light parallel light i created from side right you can see if i solo this this light is control shift n h you can see here this light is cast cast shadows from here right so the next step is for the this reflecting saber portal so for saber i just created this right you can see and uh, one more saber is also something around here right now i hope it makes sense so this is the point light right so this point light actually just for the front area of the astronaut so i can 
make a blue light so it so just like it's it's, it's the reflection of the saber right that's why i created this maybe you can just down the intensity if you want or you can just hide but i'm going to leave it to 80 but let me switch it to 45 let's see how it's making but let's go with to the 90 percent and hit okay right so the scene is looking good but then i thought uh, let's add some fog or something like uh, smoke to fill out this scene right so here one step i missed just i also enable the ambient occlusion uh, occlusion right and i change the ambient occlusion color to this blue according to this scene right and i also apply a fog or just a little amount of fog right you can see i adjusted near and far distance also right so this is the scene right so i added few smoke just like you can see in a background and i also added one more right you can see just like it's behind our mountains or just our ground right so one more smoke is also on the top of this mountain peak of the mountain right and i also created some z depth map from elme 3d you, you know uh, how to create just go to the output and change it to the z depth right and i apply some smoke also right so let me enable one by one you can see it's filling our scene It. and when you are composting any 3d object so it's takes some time but just be patient just keep patience and uh, your final work will be look good right so in the end of the video i also added some uh, optical flare right and one more uh here is a one more tip guys right go to the output right and whenever you are rendering just in case the super sampling and multi sampling right and the tip is go to the multi pass mixture and here is a uh, options for your diffuse specular ambient and all these parameters right so by default it's all things one right so let me change the specular to one right so by default it's like this right but i changed and now it's more better right so you can also play with that and by default it's also one but i change it and so it's up to you what you want right so this illumination only for the helmet right let me switch to the five so to let's save everything so this is uh the scene and the work which i did let me go to the uh, just select all of this and just pre-compose right and come over here so so now let's add some color collection with curves right so i just apply a curve and just added color collection then i realize it's too much of saturation so i just apply hue and saturation and just down the saturation and in the end of i just apply a noise and this is our final result right so this is the idea how i created a space saber portal scene where astronaut is standing on the ground right and i hope it's look good anyway so i am nps ready and we will see you next time but for now just subscribe this channel if you learn something and visit my tutorials there are a lot of techniques you can use in your project and i hope you will not be unhappy right and also you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram where I put always not always where I put many works right so you can get inspiration from there also and if you face any problem anytime just leave a message I will be there for any time right so thanks for you guys for everything and I'm in the 3D and I am back and we will do a lot of work so this is it for now and we will see you next time with a great tutorial.